Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now, if you've been with my channel for any length of time, you know I've shown you a couple of different methods in which your players can link their Steam64 ID with your Discord server in order to get whatever benefits you decide they should have in your Rust server after they've joined your Discord server. And those previous methods that I've shown you, they work. They're not exactly easy to set up, but they do work. Well, today I'm super excited to show you a brand new system that has just recently been released to the public that is super easy to set up and super buttery smooth. Hey everyone, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, a channel dedicated to teaching you everything you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel, I do plugin reviews and tutorials, and like today's video, I bring you brand new tools as soon as I can to make your Rust admin life just a little bit easier. If you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you get notified as soon as I release a new video. And of course, if you take any value out of today's video, don't forget to smash that like button down below. Welcome to steamcord.io, a one-stop location where your players can link their Steam64 ID or their Rust ID with your Discord after they've joined your Discord. This is the first and probably the easiest step that you're going to take in order to start building your community around your Rust server. The first thing that you're going to notice when you land at the Steamcord website is how simple everything is laid out. All of your questions can be answered right here. So these are some of the features of Steam Cord. Now, obviously I'm not gonna go over all of these features individually. Just know that this system is incredibly fast. It's incredibly secure. Your information as well as your player's information is safe with steamcord.io. There's a contact section. If you have questions, comments, concerned, you can send them directly to the developer of this system. You're also, of course, welcome to join the steamcord.io Discord. I'll put a link to that in the video description down below. And when you land in that Discord, make sure you let them know that I sent you there. And then of course we get into the pricing. This is a premium service. You won't be able to get any of these benefits for free. Now, because I am who I am and I do what I do, I was able to talk to Jacob and he is offering us a massive, massive discount. More details about that at the end of the video. So currently there's two different plans available, the regular plan and the pro plan. Now, as it stands at the time of the recording of this video, there's one tiny difference between regular plan and the pro plan, but I'm gonna get into that in a couple of minutes once I actually show you how this works. Another the really important section that I want to bring your attention to is the documentation page. Everything that you need to know is publicly available on the front side. You don't actually have to have the service in order to actually learn how things work. I am going to go over most of these details in this video, but make sure that you refer back to this document if you run into any issues. So once you've set up an account with Steam Cord, you should look exactly like this. In the top right hand corner, there should be a dashboard button. Let's go in there and this is where all of the magic is going to happen. So for the very first time that you go to your dashboard, obviously Obviously, you're not going to have any organization set up, so obviously go through set up a new organization. Setting up an organization is super easy. All you have to do is give it a name and then decide what you want your subdomain to look like. So the link that people are actually going to get publicly that are going to take them to the linking page. Now, I know that you haven't seen that yet. That's OK. We're going to get there in just a minute. But it's important that you put something here that makes sense that's relatable to your community. And then you just simply click on create. And now we've created a new organization. Once you have your organization created, obviously click on that and this is where we can start getting into making the magic happen. So the default section where you're going to land when you click on your organization is your players section. So this is where the information is going to show up for the players that have already linked your discord and your Rust server. Now, obviously, if this is your first time setting this up, you won't have anybody here. But as you can see, this is me. I'm the only one that's been linked on this account. So for right now, let's go into the settings section. This is where we need to input all of the information that's gonna make this all work. Now, this right here is an important distinction between the regular plan and the pro plan. This is gonna look a little bit differently for you if you have the regular plan. You're still gonna have the organization name. You're still gonna have the ability to select your subdomain, but you won't have access to this vanity domain or this titling section right here or the favicon URL. So chances are really good that if you're a part of a big community already that's already generating its own revenue, then you're probably going to be into customizing your linking page more than somebody that's just getting started. So in my demonstration, I have my linking page set to rustadminacademy.steamcord.link. If you go to that website right now, you would be able to link your Steam64 ID with my Discord server. And then if you had access to my test server, you'd be able to link the two together and you would get whatever perks there are. In my demonstration setup, there are no perks. But if 
you're on the pro plan, you can define a vanity URL that your players will click on instead of using the website's pre-generated steamcore.link address that you get on the regular plan. On the pro plan, you can also define what it says at the top of the tab when you know when you have multiple tabs open in your Chrome browser or whatever. And you can also define a favicon URL that will appear next to that title, which makes your linking page stand out from everyone else's. It's just an added level of customization that comes with the pro plan, but it is important that I let everyone know what features are available between regular and pro. All right, so this next section is really simple. It's very straightforward. So when you want to connect Steam Cord to your Discord, you want to click on this purple button right here. It's going to take you through the processes of actually selecting your server, authorizing that bot to join your server, etc., etc. Very simple process. You're not going to get lost in there. The next section is the Discord role ID. Now, if you want your linked players to get a Discord role as well as the Oxide group that they're going to get in your Rust server, then you need to define that information here. So go into your Discord, go into your roles section and set up a new role if you actually want to have this happen. So in this case, I just set up server linked and I set it so that it displays these members separately from everyone else. I gave it a different color, but the important part here is that we get this role ID. So right click on whatever role it is that you've now set up and click on this copy ID button. This is going to copy that information to your clipboard. We take that information back over to the Steam Core dashboard. And of course, we just pause to that in right there. So this next section right here can get a little bit confusing if you don't know exactly what you're looking at. Basically, we're defining what parameters that player has to meet in order to get that Discord role. If I recall correctly, by default, yours should look something like this. It should have Steam Linked toggled on as well as Steam Group Member toggled on. Now, obviously, that's only going to work if you're running a Steam Group. If you're not running a Steam Group, you want to toggle this off so that that no longer becomes a requirement for that player to get that role in your Discord. If you are running a Steam Group, then of course you would want to leave that toggled on and you would want to scroll down to the bottom of this setup page and actually input your Steam Group information, Steam Group ID and Steam Group URL. I don't personally use Steam Groups anymore. I haven't used them for years, but I've recently been informed that actually a lot of really big servers still use Steam Groups. So you might want to consider it. If you are going to be setting up a Steam Group, you might find the Steam Group ID a little bit hard to find. In order to find that, you have to go into the edit group profile page and it'll give you your Steam Group ID there. That's the information that you need right here. After you've input all of your information, of course, you're going to be prompted to save everything to this documentation. Click on the purple save button in the bottom right hand corner. Yes, I had to turn my camera off so that I could show you guys that. And now we can move on to the next step. So we'll skip down one. We'll go into the API token section. So now for the plugin aspect of things to work, you have to add an API key. And the very first time you're in your dashboard, of course, you're not going to have any API keys yet. So we're going to create this token right here. Once you've created that token, it's going to look like this. Now, here's a big warning for you. When you click on create token and it spits out this great big string of characters, that's the only time you're going to see that information and know you can't come back to it later. If you lose it or whatever, if you don't do what you need to do with it right away, you can't get back to that information. So this is the API token that I had right here. And as you can see, the only option that I have is to revoke that token and then create a new one. So what I suggest you do when you create this token is immediately copy it onto a notepad or something like that somewhere where the, you can keep it safe until you're absolutely done with everything that you need to do with it. And I mean, in a couple of minutes, we will be. It's just important that I make you understand that once you leave that create token page, you cannot get back to see what your API token is. All right. After the API tokens, we can go to the members section. And this is just basically where you might invite your admins or moderators for your Rust server or for your Discord server if you want them to have control over what's going on in your steamcore.io. And of course, you can define which permissions they get. And this is all done by entering their email address and defining which permissions you want them to have. The next section is the download section. And this is where we're going to download the actual plugin that's going to go inside of our Rust server in the Oxide slash plugins folder. This aspect of things works exactly like you would expect it to. It's just like any other plugin. There really isn't any trickery involved at all. So if this was the first time I was setting this up, I would drag and drop the steamcord.cs file into my plugins folder right here. And then we can go into the configuration file for steamcord in the configuration folder. This is where you're going to need that API key. As you can see here, this is the very long string that I was just talking about. And yes, just so that everyone is aware that I'm going to be deleting my own API key. So I don't mind showing it to you now. By the time you see this video, it's no longer going to be valid. So grab your API key from wherever it was that you saved it a minute ago and pause that information in between the quotations on the configuration file for Steam Court. Now the chat command section is super simple as well. You can put in here whatever command you want your player to use in game 
game after they've linked on your linking page so they can actually get the benefits in game. And I know I haven't shown you the linking page yet. It's hard for me to decide where to show you that information. So just bear with me here. You're going to get everything in a couple of minutes. So I don't know this for sure yet. So I'm just going to try this out and we're actually going to test it once we actually go in game. But I think you should be able to put extra commands here too. So for example, if we also wanted to add slash auth or let's say slash discord, let's see if this is actually going to work in game. I don't know this for sure, but based on how Jacob has this config set up, I assume that that was the intention. Our chat commands enabled, true or false, default is set to true. Provision the rewards on join, true or false, default is set to true. Now, what are the rewards after they've done one of these commands? So this is broken up quite simply. So we've got the requirements and whatever the reward is. And I don't know if you can tell by looking at this, essentially we've got two different requirements and two different rewards. So if you're a Discord member, you get added to the Oxide group in the Rust server called Discord member. If you're a Discord booster, then of course you get the Oxide group in the Rust server called Discord booster. And you can define these to be whatever you want them to be. They don't have to be called this. In fact, by default, they're not called this. I've gone in and changed this and I forget what they were by default, but it doesn't look exactly like this. Another thing that's here by default that I actually removed for this video was the Steam group requirements. So like I said, I don't use Steam group, so I took the requirement out of this. So in order to have a successful link, all you have to do is be a member of my Discord. But obviously, if you are running a Steam group, you would want to leave that requirement in. Therefore, it forces that player to become a Discord member as well as a Steam group member. And then the Discord booster section, of course, if a member of your Discord has boosted your server, they would automatically get whatever perks you've designated for Discord boosters. I know that not everything is lining up right now. I'm able to look at this situation from a 65,000 foot view. I know that this isn't making a lot of sense just yet. It's going to in a couple of minutes. For people that aren't fully comfortable with Oxide groups and Discord roles and stuff like that, this can be a little bit overwhelming, but it's all gonna come together here in a couple of minutes. So once we've got everything all sorted out inside the configuration file, all we need to do is simply save this and reload the plugin. O dot reload Steam Cord. And for the very first time, you should see something a little bit different here. Steam Cord will be creating whatever oxide groups we just created in the configuration file. It'll be doing that as soon as you reload the plugin. In fact, I should probably show you what I mean. So if I go in and change these oxide group names a little bit, let's just change this to... So I just changed these up a little bit. I've got this test for demo purposes and Discord booster for demo purposes. I'm going to save this. I'm going to go back to my console and I'm going to reload the plugin and I'm going to show you how it responds a little bit differently now that I've changed those oxide group names. All right, so this is what it did before. This is what it did this time. So right here, we can see that the plugin actually created this oxide group called test for demo purposes. It also created this oxide group right here, Discord Booster for demo purpose. So anytime you make a change on the configuration file and reload the plugin, it's gonna create whatever oxide groups you've now changed them to in there. I hope that part makes sense. If at any point something isn't making sense, of course, leave me in the comment in the comment section down below and I'll do my best to answer these questions for you. And like I said before, you can always join the Steam Core Discord server. Don't forget that link is in the video description down below. All right, so now we've done our dashboard setup, we've installed the plugin and we've made whatever appropriate changes we needed to make in there. Now we need to start linking things up. So how do I get to the linking page that I've now created from the dashboard? If you're on the regular plan, it's going to show you this link right here, which in my case is rustadminacademy.steamcord.link. We can just copy that link and put that wherever we want it to go. We can put it in our Discord. We can put it in our Rust server as an advert message. We can put this link wherever we want. Add it to your website even. Once a player actually clicks on that link, it's going to take them to a page that looks just like this. Obviously, it's not going to have my logo in the top left hand corner. And you of course can change what is said right here and right here. You can change all of this information up, but this is what they're going to see in a nutshell. So obviously we want to link your steam and we want to link your discord. So just click on those buttons, go through those prompts. If you have your steam 2FA set up, of course, you're going to need that information, which of course I do. And once that's all linked up, it'll change on your linking page, showing them that they've linked their steam to your steam cord.io. So obviously the next step of course is link your discord. Let's click on this button. Button, it's going to ask you, do you want to automatically join our Discord by clicking on this button? So let's click on yes. Of course, we'll click on authorize. We'll allow it to go through because this is essentially what we want. And once this is done, it's going to show everything is linked up. It's going to show that I am a Discord guild member. And of course, you can click on the boost button. Oh my God, that's frustrating. I just realized that that was all happening behind my camera. Anyways, you can see there that it says Discord member joined. And then right down below that, if they wanted to boost directly from the linking page, they can of course click on that button right there. 
and it will allow them to boost your server. Of course, then giving them the Discord booster oxide role that we set up previously in the configuration file. I'm not gonna do that, just know that it does work. All right, so now that the player has all of that done, they've linked their Steam64 ID to your Steam Cord IO dashboard. They've joined your Discord and everything is looking good on the dashboard. Now all they have to do is go in game and type in one of those commands that we defined in the configuration file. Now, as you can see here, it says link your accounts and complete the tasks below, then use the slash claim in game. Because I added a couple of different options there, we can go back to our settings page and I can actually make it reflect that. We can change it to say link your accounts and complete the tasks below, then use slash claim in game or slash auth or slash discord. So we're going to save that. Let's go back over to the linking page and we'll refresh that and it should reflect that change that I just made. Yes, of course it did just like that. So we can put whatever information we have to have there. So you want to make sure that as much information as the player is going to need in game and keep it simple, trust me, keep this simple, and then everything is gonna work out great. So now let's go in game, let's test this out, make sure that it gives me the roles that I think it's going to give me. All right, just for transparency reasons, I'm gonna show you my oxide groups before I run any of those commands. So let's go into my admin menu, let's go into groups, let's go into user groups, and of course this is me. I'm a member of the admin group, I'm also a member of the default group. Now you're gonna see four different oxide groups here, but that's because I had two set up and then I changed it to show on this video to something else. So I changed the to Discord Booster for demo purpose as well as test for demo purposes. Now, because I'm not a Discord Booster, obviously I'm not gonna end up with this role right here, but once I run one of those commands, I should end up with this test for demo purposes role. So let's exit out of that and let's use one of those other commands, not slash claim, although I know slash claim will work, but let's try one of the ones that we added in extra. So slash auth, it says, thank you for linking your accounts. So this should work. So let's do slash admin again. Let's go into groups, let's go into user groups let's go into me and there you go just like I expected it has now added my player character to that oxide group if I was also a Discord booster, of course, I would be added to that other group as well. So now what can we do with this information? Now that we have our players linked up, they went through our linking page, they've ran the commands in game, what good does it do them? Now, whatever perks you want your Discord members to have in game, you would have to grant to this group right here. So let's go into the permissions section and let's go into group permissions and let's deal with test for demo purposes permissions. So now here's a list of all of the permissions that I have on this this server currently right now. So we would go through this list and we would decide what permissions or what perks or however you want to word it, what do we want our Discord members to have over everyone else on this server? And the ideas here are unlimited. You can literally, you can do as much as you want for your Discord members or as little. You can do something as small as just having a tag next to their name. It shows the rest of the players that if you join the Discord, you get a tag next to your name. Or you can make it so that they have more homes or they can teleport faster or whatever. There's literally unlimited combinations of things that you can do for your Discord members. Now I'm getting into a little bit of the permission side of things, but just know that there are a ton of different options that you can do here and it's completely up to you. So now because most of this stuff just happens naturally inside of my brain, I can sometimes gloss over a couple of really important facts. I can't think of anything right now, but I just want to make sure that everyone understands what the benefit here is. This is a way for you to entice your Rust players to join your Discord server hence becoming part of your community, building up your Discord server, which of course in turn builds up your Rust community. So by giving perks, to players that have joined your Rust server and seen some kind of a sign or some sort of a chat thing that said, hey, join the Discord server to receive perks. They go to your Discord server, they join up, they link everything together through the linking page, and then they get whatever perks you've decided to give them. People love getting perks, and let me tell you, they love getting them for free. If all they have to do is join your Discord, that's a pretty small price to pay, and then you get to reward them with whatever you decide. All right, that's basically my spiel on SteamCore.io. Of course, as always, if you have any questions questions at all, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. You can also join the steamcore.io discord. I'll put a link to that in the video description. You can also join my personal discord at discord.srtbull.com. Link in the video description down below. All right, like I promised at the beginning of the video, I got you guys a smoking deal on Steamcore. So Jacob has agreed to give us 30% off for the first 12 months that we're utilizing this service. So use code srtbull while you're setting up your billing system and you will save 30% for the next 12 
months. That is a massive, massive deal. It's far more than I ever would have expected any developer to offer us. Jacob really came through for the viewers of my channel. So if you were on the fence about getting Steam Cord for your community, that 30% for the next 12 months is a huge enough discount that I think everyone that watches this video that's trying to build up a Rust community needs to go make use of this promo. So while you're eagerly awaiting the release of my latest video, make sure you check out one of these videos right here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next week.